Hello, and welcome back to 5-Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today, we're going to be looking at Bump Offset. So, Bump Offset is the cheapest way that we're going to be able to fake depth in our opaque materials. And so, what we're going to do, we're going to grab a texture sample, we're going to get a texture of... We'll probably use like a grid or something. Uh, just a grid texture. So we're going to get wheel position, masked in RG, and we're going to divide that by how big we want the textures to be. So let's just go 500 for now. We are going to add another one of this exact same texture, but before we add them together, we are going to get the bump offset node. Plug that into the UVs. Now the coordinate is this. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to multiply it by 0.5, which will just make it a little bit darker. And then we're going to use a max node. So when two values are put into a max node, it'll just choose the highest one. Uh, now, something that I <laughs> completely forgot is we are going to make a parameter. Uh, and now the default for bump offset is 0 0.5, which I hate. I wish it was zero. But now what we're going to do is we are going to change this height value and you're gonna see that it's creating some parallax. Uh, and so you can see that the bottom texture looks like it has some depth. And you know, we can go really, really big with this and uh, <laughs> get some really weird effects. And obviously, you know, the deeper you go, the, the more sort of distortion there's gonna be. So it is best used subtly. Uh, you can also go out the other way, which is really confusing because it kind of looks like it's floating above the <laughs> the thing. Now, this isn't the intended way to use this node. The intended way, I believe, is to plug in a height texture. So I'm going to use one of my brick samples. We're going to get the alpha of that, put that into the height. And we are also going to get the base color from this wall. Yep. And we'll just put that straight into the base color. And now if we look at the bricks here, uh, you can see there is some parallaxing. And so you can see this is the regular texture with no bump offset applied. And then if we put the bump offset into the UVs, you can see these bricks really start to pop out of the ground a little bit. Now this is super, super cheap because it's just distorting the UVs. So if you're just trying to create a little bit of parallax, a little bit of bumpiness, then this should be your go-to. And if we wanted to go one step further, we could get our normal map that matches up with this texture and also use the bump offset for its uh, UVs. And then we're gonna plug this into the normal. And all of a sudden, we have some very, very convincing bricks that have some height. Like, you can see here, especially, it looks like it's actually got height to it. But if you look at a very, very steep angle, you can see that it's all fake. So just as another little example of what we can do with bump offset. So there's a shader in Mortal Shell, which is also an Unreal Engine game. And there's ice in one of the levels, and under the ice, there are these these floating souls, floating bodies under the under the ice. And so you can see, because I've used bump offset, as we move to the side, you can actually see parallax between all of these uh, these floating souls. So that's just one uh, one little. I guess, creative use case for bump offset. So it is a really good way to create depth and sort of volumetricity in your materials and stuff. So that's going to be it from me today. To sum it up, bump offset applies parallax relative to the surface of the object that the texture is being applied to. It can be used to create parallax between two textures that you're adding together or layering on top of each other. And the intended functionality of it is to create parallax using a height map for a texture. So as always, if you learn something new, make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell if you wanna stay up to date with every video that I put out about materials or animation or just other stuff in general. Uh, and if you really, really like what we do here on the channel, make sure you check out our Patreon below. So with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>